Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calkine. Well, the Assistant Governor of the RBA, Jonathan Kearns, definitely thinks so. Let's take a close look. At a recent housing conference, Kearns expressed that as the price of housing lowers with the rising interest rates, the mortgage payments lower as well. Interest rates tend to impact real estate values through discount or capitalization rates equal to the risk-free rate plus a premium. So in a nutshell, interest rates also affect the availability of capital and the investment demand. These capital inflows affect the demand and supply for property, eventually impacting property prices. Property prices also reflect the inherent risk associated with investing in that property. Kern said that the 225 basis points of rate hikes could lower the prices by at least 15% over two years, while also cutting borrowers' maximum loan size by around 20%. He believes that mortgage payments for new buyers will be higher for about two years as well due to those higher interest rates. But after that, the declines in housing prices and mortgage size will begin to dominate. The assistant governor stated that because higher interest rates reduce housing prices and mortgage sizes, mortgage payments for new borrowers could ultimately be lower than if interest rates had not increased. Kearns mentions that interest rates both affect and are influenced by the economic effects of both residential and commercial property prices. On top of this, confidence can be exhibited for some aspects of the impact of interest rates on property prices, but there is considerable uncertainty about other elements. The central bank has actually been criticized recently for lifting rates for five months in a row to 2.35%, having last year forecast rates were unlikely to rise until 2024. The Australian housing market has drastically cooled down because of that, and according to data from property consultant called Logic, the prices of properties sank 1.6% in the span of just one month. So with that being said, let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkai Media.